Lesson 28 homework. Number one, create and solve a division story problem about seven feet of rope that is modeled by the tape diagram below. So we have a tape diagram and the hole is seven and it's split into halves. So it wants to know how many halves are in seven holes. So we need to, we can either solve it first or make a story problem. So let's make a story problem and it needs to be about seven feet of rope. So I'm gonna choose um, Dan. So let's say Dan has seven feet of rope. He wants to split the rope into half foot sections. How many sections, how many half foot sections will Dan have? So we have seven divided by one half. So if we did seven divided by one half, I'll draw my own seven. So there's seven. If I split all of them into half foot sections, and count all of those up, we would have 14 half foot sections. Number two, create and solve a story problem about one third pound of flour that is modeled by the tape diagram below. So it looks like we have a third and that third has been split into three equal pieces. So we have one third divided by three. So let's write a story problem for that. So it looks like they have a third a pound of flour. So we need to use one third pound of flour. And I'm gonna say Mary has one third pound of flour. Now she wants to pour it equally into three containers. How much is in each container? So we have one third split into three equal pieces. So if we did that, each of these would be one ninth. So one third divided by three is equal to one ninth. So there's one ninth pound in each container. Number three, draw a tape diagram and create a word problem for the following expressions, then solve and check. So these we need to make up our own. Tape diagrams and word problems and solve them. So we have two divided by one fourth. So I'm gonna st start with a word problem. When I see a hole, it makes me think of something like pizzas or pies or cakes or something. So I'm gonna say Aaron had two pizzas. She split each pizza into fourths. How many slices of pizza did she have? So there's our word problem. Now we need to draw a tape diagram. So 
So the whole thing here is going to be two. So we have two. There's our one and two, and I'm gonna divide each one into fourths. So there's my two pizzas. Here's the first one right here, second one right there. Each one has one, two, three, four pieces. So if I have two pizzas, then I would have five, six, seven, eight pieces. Letter B, one fourth divided by two. Um, so I'm gonna think of something like maybe pounds. So this time, see, we worked with pizzas. Pizza makes me think of cheese. So I'm gonna say maybe um, Brent has one fourth pound of cheese. And then what do you do with cheese? Um, sometimes you put it on sandwiches. So I'm gonna say he, we have two, we wanna split that in two. So he wants to make lunch for the next two days and put it on equally on two sandwiches. So I'll say he wants to split it equally on two sandwiches. How much cheese will be on each sandwich? Okay, so our tape diagram is this. So the entire thing Let's see, is, if this whole thing is one, but we only have one fourth. So we have this part right here. If I'm gonna take that one fourth and I'm gonna split it into two equal pieces. So then this, if we wanna figure out what it would be out of the whole, if I split everything into two equal pieces, my denominator, I have eight pieces total, but I'm only using one of those for each slice of cheese. So it's equal to one eighth pound. C, one third divided by five. Oh, this time I'm gonna change gears from food. Let's try and do a length. So, I'm gonna think of maybe a length of ribbon. So let's say Lauren has one third, oh, one half, one third yard of ribbon. And then she's splitting it equally into five pieces because that's what the problem is. Um, let's say she wants to split the ribbon into five equal pieces for gift bags. How many, or we could say, how many yards of ribbon will be used for each gift bag. Okay, so we have our tape diagram. So this is one hole and we're working with one third. So I'm gonna split that into thirds so we have this piece right here, one third, and we're splitting that into five equal pieces. So I'm gonna split that into five. So each gift bag is going to get this much ribbon. 
But in order to figure out how much that ribbon is, I need to split everything else into fifths. So that one piece is one out of a total 15 pieces. So one fifteenth of a yard for each gift bag. And the last one, three divided by one tenth. Three, I'm gonna go back to the food theme. Let's say that Nick has three cakes. He wants to split each cake into tenths. How many pieces of cake will he have? All right, so I'll draw our tape diagram. So the whole thing is equal to three. So I'm going to split it into three. But then we want to divide each of those into tenths. So in each piece, we would have each cake would be 10 pieces. Here's another 10 pieces, and here's another 10 pieces. So all of that would add up to 30 pieces of cake. If you have thought of your own word problem and you'd like to share it below, go ahead and tell us what letter or what number and share your own word problem. Try one on your own.